In an enchanted era of bygone times lived a princess who was next in line for the throne. Her beauty radiated across the land, intriguing the kingdom and giving them hope that she could possibly transform their mundane lives for the better when she reigned. One glorious spring morning, a handsome admirer from afar, in the form of a prince, asked for her hand in marriage. Upon accepting his proposal, they embraced the future together and planned for their happily ever after. As they fell deeper and deeper in love, their time was spent dedicated to each other, instead of paying attention to the poor, neglected civilians. As time progressed, the kingdom became darker and gloomier than it had ever been before. Suddenly, all hell broke loose within the woods. The prince was stabbed whilst out hunting. There was no trace of any witnesses, only the eyes and ears of the woodland creatures. Distraught by the news, the queen rushed to his side. All just moments too late, as he drew his last breath cradled in her arms. Having her suspicions that the poor village folk were responsible for this travesty, she summoned her guards to ignite her hatred upon them. She demanded that their village be set ablaze, no house left unscorched, turning their lives upside down as they had done to hers. She also called upon her sorcerers to place a curse upon the woods around the outskirts of her kingdom, keeping the lowest of the low at bay. Not able to rest until her true love's murderer is found, the kingdom and all that surrounded fell into greater darkness and depression. Through this darkness was a glimmer of hope as the castle required a new recruit, a woman that the villagers hoped would help lift their world from the gloom and suffering by putting things right. They hoped she would bring rebirth to the kingdom. She was to be the queen's new lady-in-waiting. Upon entering the royal court, Beth was greeted with hostility by the Queen. With such disgust echoing in her voice, the Queen rose from her throne and questioned her existence. Although intimidated by Beth's beauty, the Queen agreed and asked her to join her on the balcony. The cheering crowd echoed through the valley as the Queen and Beth came into view. They cheer me through fear, not through respect, Lady Beth. That is the fate these vermin deserve. Whilst travelling through the cursed woods, the Queen informed Beth of her first task. I wish you to invite all the high-class commoners to my ball. Look out of the window. Those traitors shall blow in the wind for eternity. One day, I will catch that murderer. Murderer. Beth cloaked herself within the shadows of the castle, proceeding towards the main gate. Begin, the Queen demanded. The 
castle raid began. Flames illuminated the ballroom as the windows crashed to the floor. Fire blazed all around. The queen and her ladies-in-waiting darted towards the door. her noble steed and headed towards the cursed woods, the only place within this realm she felt safe. She ran towards her love's gravestone. In the glory of moonlight, her prince appeared one last time, placing her hand on her heart as his spirit faded. She witnessed a miracle a miracle that would save her kingdom and lift her dark, heavy heart. traitor was for the death of her prince and attempted murder of her court. The queen took the action she thought best and removed the darkness from her kingdom. The queen took it upon herself to send out her apologies to her people and gave her word that the times of darkness and despair were behind them light would once again return. 